What are you doing? I'll cover my mouth. Can I go be seated now? Do you know what a Karen is? Yeah, I think I have an idea what a Karen is. Yes, yes I do. Yes. yes. I also know what a Karen is. Um, I saw this for you. I do. Um, I have a, I have an idea what a Karen is. We all know what a Karen is, but who is Karen? Just, I just don't get why nobody likes me. I mean. Honestly, I'm just a delightful person, right? I mean, I'm just a delightful person, right? Someone, someone, I, I need to speak to your manager right now. This water is green, and I'm pretty sure water is blue. This is unacceptable. Manager, manager. Hi, Miss Karen. Um, you can come and take a seat. Nobody in this goddamn building gets to tell me what to do. I'll sit down when I want to sit down, okay? Okay, which just happens to be now. It's not because you told me to. There's cat hair on here. Um, um, that's not very professional of you. Miss Karen, you can take your glasses off you inside. That is so rude. Actually, that is, that is very rude. Um, it's always your generation. You, you want, what do you call yourselves? Gen, Gen Z? Yeah, it's only you guys who are trying to, to remove my identity. Ms. So Karen, no, you... so no, no. I will be keeping my glasses on, okay? Okay. Isn't it like one of those really like rude, difficult, annoying people? Karen is some old hag that thinks she know better, that she, that like, she, She's above the law. It's a lady who really gets on one's nerves and has to share a lot of I can give with everybody. Nowadays, a Karen is basically someone who's, I'd say, like demanding and condescending and just like is. <laughs> just like someone who does. Someone who's easily disliked. Well, I think a Karen is someone who is quite obsessed with their own opinions and doesn't want to like listen to anyone else. Quite annoying actually. I don't think they even think about anyone else's feelings except theirs. Yeah. A Karen is a middle-aged woman generally has a problem with any establishment. It's fine to fault in any establishment. In my opinion, it's always what to say. Self-righteous is a little problem from everything. But it's not something that's not going to do with it. Um, this is why I get it. This is a scene where I get it. And it's not just, okay, I don't know if you're going to get it. But it's not going to get it. A Karen is a very... Um, can I say this? A very unreasonable um, woman who tends to make problems for everyone in retail and shop and basically anyone who provides a service. The lady was always asking for the manager. And um, yeah, Karen is, a, is an annoying person. It's an annoying person to people who have to work every day, yeah. Welcome back, Miss Karen. We have brought you here to discuss the fact that people are calling you a Karen. Are you aware of this? I am. <laughs> How do you feel about it? I mean, I just don't understand why everyone is treating me like I'm the bad person for just expressing myself because everyone just says that you can be who you want to be, but Obviously, that doesn't apply to old people. I mean, I've been getting random phone calls from like all of these twits. Like, how do people even have my number? It's, it's such a scary experience if you ask me. Like, the society is falling apart, honestly. Honestly, it's so scary. Well, I haven't really had encounters. I've seen the interactions with others. Um, yeah. Um, but from stories that I've heard, um, my mom was at a place, standing in a line, and she was there for, say, like, about four hours. A lady comes walking in saying, like, oh, um, this is disgraceful. Like, why are... Why is everybody waiting for such a long time? And, like, we supposed to get this within, like, seconds. Like, come on, like, get it done. My mom was like, come on. Like, 
we've been waiting longer than you. You can just take a chill pill. But she wanted to fight. She really wanted to fight, my mom. And um, my mom was like, little girl, just chill. But anyways, yeah, that was one of the incidents, yeah. Well, I went to the shopping mall and there was this really old lady behind me who was complaining that she had to wait in a long queue of three people. <laughs> and then the person behind her was literally on crutches with a broken leg, not complaining about the three people in front of them. So then we all let the person with the broken leg go and pay first. And she went to the manager and customer services to say that it was unfair. But there was this one time where, you see, I'm a dancer. Personally, I'm a dancer. And, <laughs> and um, there was this one lady who eventually came up to me after one of my shows and she said, and she criticized the hell out of me. She told me things that I did not need to hear, things that I knew that I needed to improve on. And she just, she just, she just literally came up to me and was like, you know, your leg wasn't high enough in that one kick. And that spin you did was not fast enough. And I didn't even do anything. I was walking, I was breathing, I was existing. So I was existing and she came up to me and started talking to me like that. But other than that, I've had none of bad Karen experiences. But um, those are really my two experiences with Karen's. I was just giving that dancer advice. As someone who used to be a professional, you know what? If anything, they should have been glad that I even considered to give them critique. So the other day, I think it was about four days after Sarama Posa had announced that we didn't have to wear masks, I still decided to wear my mask purely because I am high risk and I decided, you know what, let me not take that risk so, you know, quickly so that I can still kind of ease into it. And I'm just walking in the mall, minding my own business. And this lady almost like hastily, hastily runs towards me. And I was so shocked. And I was trying to figure out like if I knew this person because she wasn't wearing a mask. And she like came right up to my face, like right here. And she asked me to take off my mask. And I was so lost because like just like before COVID was a real thing in South Africa, many old ladies were telling me to wear masks and that I should never take it off and butchering me because I wasn't wearing a mask. So here comes this old lady and she's telling me to wear, well, to take off my mask. And I was so shocked because I'd first off never seen this lady. I have, and I'm just walking in the mall, minding my own business. And she tells me to take off my mask and that I am an attention seeker and I'm just not listening to the country's rules. I kind of just hastily just you know, try to run away from her because she was scaring me. Um, and she kind of just, I just left her and she was screaming from like um, down there telling me that I was a horrible person, that I'll go to hell because I didn't wear a mask. Oh, because I didn't want to take off my mask. And like, <laughs> it was just a horrible experience. I mean, the mask mandate was lifted and she was still wearing a mask. It's like she needs to be the center of attention and everyone's eyes needs to be on her. This generation is so selfish. Um, this happened a lot of so I don't know how it was. It was very nice to say. But many people say, we don't have the right for all of us. And then is it a situation where we can do it. Geleerd die in, soos ons probeer vir die best te gee wat ons kan en dan sit soos uh, jylle story van nee, dit is nie recht en dit is soms ook nie sreg, maar by, van teder wat jy dan wil hee. Do you obviously not see what was wrong? I mean, the foundation didn't even match my skin tone. I asked her to do her job and then everyone else made me the bully when I asked her to do what I paid for her to do. But ma'am, her makeup was good. You know what? I don't want to be asked these questions anymore. Get that camera out of my face. Ma'am, please put your mask on. No. You know what? Since y'all are recording, I'm going to put this on, as you guys say, the internet. <laughs> I have rights. I have respiratory problems. If I wear this mask, what if I fall down dead? Dead!